I bought seven airplanes off Facebook Marketplace, sight unseen, for $100,000, and we only have five days to get them all going. Today is the last day. We got this one going. We got the other ones going, mostly, but that is on the docket for today. This is the world famous Mustang P51, two thirds. It's not a real one, obviously, or else those are in the millions of dollars. This one is a kit build. It's uh, got a six cylinder instead of the 12 cylinder. Spoiler alert, that's just a two by four with some, some pipe on it. Uh, but it still flies and goes like stink and looks cool. And it's been sitting here for at least three years in this spot. And today we're gonna see what it's gonna take to get it started, have... <sighs> we'll come back to that. There's so many dials and switches in there. It's crazy. Whole thing is made out of plywood. That, he made the plywood himself. He bought the instructions for like a hundred bucks. And then seven and a half years of your life later, normal brakes. Fantastic. Who has any idea if those actually work? And that big scoop right there, he did tell me that it's functional. I don't know where that air goes or comes from, but you can see the oil cooler in it. Let's check out the, the cockpit in it, and then we'll uncover the, uh, the heart of the beast. What is cooler than a P51 Mustang? This Elvis Jetstar. Maybe not. A few quick updates. One, the auction for serial number 001 ends today. Charitybuzz.com slash save the 310. 100% of all that money goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Elvis's favorite charity. If you wanna find out when we are gonna be dropping the tags for the Elvis jet that are made from the Elvis jet, extremely limited, you have to go to save2310.com, sign up there. You'll be the first people to know days and days ahead of time of everyone else. And three, the P51, the real P51 ride, that video did hit 25,000 likes, so we are gonna schedule a ride in a real P51 Mustang. That's gonna be epic. Well, back to the baby P51, the P50, as I like to call it. <laughs> That's fantastic. GM. Yes. I was gonna say this looks like a seat out of a Pontiac. It actually really does. <laughs> I know, I was like, <laughs> okay. And then you have your G load for the recline. I think it it is a stinking seat out of one of those. We've got some, uh, the timer. We got a compass, a clock over there, which normally is just used for instrument stuff. This has got your standard six pack, one or two, four, six. You start with your attitude indicator there, altimeter, your rate of climb, your directional gyro. Okay, so he's got a five pack, so that should be over here, and all your engine stuff should be over there if it was like standardized. All right, so carb heat, what do we got? Mixture. Oh, here's your cow flap one. We got a primer, she said it's not hooked up, so don't worry about that. Um, throttle, boost pump, master, there's your mag switches. Okay, so that's nice to know down in there. Then over here, ah, here we go. Here's your prop, your electric controlled prop. And there's your gear, looks like a tire. Your flaps, oh, that's smooth. That is smooth like a butter. Okay, we got mixture over there and throttle over there, I guess, all right. What's that? Oh, that's not smooth. And this is your rocket launcher here, machine gun here. And uh, no, I guess machine gun would be the trigger on the front right there. And this is your rocket launcher. Let's, let's look under the hood of this thing. It's a big reveal shot. Ooh. Wow, look at that thing. Optimus Prime battery. That is the oil tank. That's how much oil this thing needs because cylinders are upside down. Here's the carburetor. Good, primer line is here. 
And it goes that way, but he said it was disconnected. Starter is up there, right there. It's kind of neat. And that is the generator, I think, on the back. Oh, no. What the crap? There's all kinds of stuff in here. So there's an alternator up there, so that must be the starter. And that must be... Oh, those are the magnetos. Voltages. See, negative on this side, positive on that side. We got 11 volts. She's going to need some some jumpage. Pull your cap. And you got a little sticky thing yeah, on Not, Oh, she's full, boys. Okay, yep. Yeah, she's we got lighter. lots of oil. Whoa. I love how they account that you're going to spill some and they just put the little drain right there. Yeah, they know. And they just... Look, look at that. It's like literally right at the top. Oh, holy moly. Yeah, there's a ton of oil in there. Wow. Hmm. That's clean, too. Tasty. So we come up here to the starter, and you see the little drain tube for that. That drains down, goes around, and goes to that over there which is red which if you look woo, if you look is an actual oil can that's hysterical i love experimental so much try doing that on a certified airplane all right well let's pull some plugs and let's get this show on the road so we can get in before the weather and knuckles in three two one creep what do we got? Oh shoot, that's not bad at all, man. No, no, that's not that bad. That's not even filled with oil. Second spark plug also looks pretty good. Just a little tiny bit of oil in that one. Hey. I think she's ready to fire up. Boom. Woo, we got lights. And I'm gonna check boost pump. Yep, yep. Watch out, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna use starter. Master is off, mags are off. Okay, let's go ahead and roll this prop. We're doing this to make sure there's no hydraulic locking, no oil holding it up. So if we hit the starter, it doesn't bend and break things. Dude, that is a workout. <laughs> Don't go to Pilates <laughs> and prop one of these. We rotate it around. We check the fuel pumps. We still want to make sure fuel's actually getting up here. So I think that's the next thing to do. And, and then roll it out and light it. All right, master switch on. Let's go back to the right. It's on the right, master switch on. Right boost pump, is it open? Uh, no, let me see, where's the fuel? Yeah, it shows the right main has got gas in it. All right, I'm going to the right. A little bit of a fuel leak. Nothing. We are not. Shine your flashlight down there again. Oh yeah, it's good. that's definitely where it's coming out of. Let's see if the starter will whirl it around. We have the small fuel leak, but I'm not worried about that. Next step, uh, we got compression. Let's see if the starter works. We know we've got fuel out there, and that's, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, this is a Pontiac Le Mans seat. and zero brakes, negative brakes. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna turn the master on, the mags, master is on, mags are off, and the fuel pump is off. Ready? Quick. I'll take that. Master is 
All right, go ahead and spin, come forward. Right there, stop. Ew, mud. All right, and I am fully connected over here. Well, put it in the comments, here we go. How many cranks do you think it's gonna be? Jesse, what's your number? I'm gonna stick with four. You're gonna go with four, all right. I think this one might give us a little bit of a, a little bit of a headache, so I'm gonna go with, uh, six now we do know that it does not have a primer that's connected so that is going to be an issue so we'll need a little bit of the uh yeah perfect good to go i think so we're tied down in the back we're chalked we got our battery fuel is turned off we got a little in there i just need to make sure that mixture will come open Nope. Can you grab that mixture? There we go. Did that go all the way back? Yep. So we got all the way one way, back, got all the way to the other way. All right. Gosh, that is tough to get back. It's just Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put my uh, GM Pontiac seatbelt on. Cause yes. Okay, master is on. Our boost pump and our fuel. Okay. Crack the throttle. Mags are on. Here we go. Can I get a clear prop? I had the mixture in uh -huh. to open it up uh -huh. and then I did a little bit of boost. Well, your mixture is not, it's out right now. I know that. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I had it in. Okay. So I had it in. Uh -huh. I had the throttle cracked uh -huh. and then I'd start it and then I'd hit the boost after it was turning. No. It, does, it doesn't have, so what you're going to have to do is use the accelerator pump on the... On the this has a, one on the carburetor? Yes. So what oh, you're going to do okay. is get, a, Heck get yeah. a, maybe two or three blades like that and give it a couple shots. Just careful not to do too much because I thought maybe you're going to flood it and have a fire. So yeah, you need to, as All soon right. as it starts to spin about two or three blades, give it a couple real sharp blue boosts. Yeah, with the mixture, mixture full. full in. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. And the boost pump off? Uh, boost pump on. On. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we ready? Master's on. That was try number one. Mags are both on. Mixture is in. And uh, we'll, as soon as it starts cranking, throw it a few times. How about two to start with and then maybe three? But if it doesn't start within about three blades, stop. We'll see if we can smell fuel. And if, and if we can, then it'll start with it right after. Right of that. Okay. Here we go, clear prop. Woo, she knows it! Woo, ha <laughs> ha, boy! Hey, flaps are working. Seven airplanes, five days, all but one. Which I'm still going like that, but whatever. Yes, it, you did it. <laughs>